It is a known fact that we all have ears to listen and eyes to see. As we get older, our senses go numb and our perception fails us. However, sometimes those who have a great sight look the other way, while those who hear well do not listen. Because more than old age or any kind of illness, fear is often the hardest disease to treat. Ever heard of Silent Town? A handful of roofs standing out in the heart of the forest. No voices, no noises, only whispers and gasps. People enslaved by rules to stay safe. Because while the forest by day was calm and peaceful, once night had fallen, you could hear them roar. The monsters. A nightmare again. A daydreaming nightmare with narration even. Wow. Oh, your hands are very dirty. Hello. Hey, Lucy. Pass the ball, please. <laughs> Exhausted chasing the ball. You got a ball. Well, don't pick it up necessarily, just kick it over. Oh, thanks, Lucy. Pass it here. <laughs> okay, so, ball. One piece of ball for you. Thanks. I threw it a bit too far this time. Oh, I thought we kicked it. What were you doing? Ah, oh, you know, trying to get away from the real world for a bit. But our sweet dream turned into a little bit of a nightmare, so we're back here. Earlier than anticipated. Oh yeah, or that. I had another nightmare. <laughs> oh, I see. I have nightmares a lot too. As the narrator said, Fear is the hardest disease to cure. Although calling it a disease is a stretch, I think. Really? How do you get the feeling to go away? Um, me? I don't know. When I'm scared of... When I'm scared of something, I hide so well that nobody can find me. Well, if you have a nightmare, the nightmares don't work that way, I think. <laughs> Everything knows where you are in your own personalized hell of a nightmare. That's why I'm so good at hide and seek. I used to love that as a child. <laughs> hide and seek. Wanna join us? We're all playing in the square, but we need another player. Oh, sure. So let's go. Hide and seek, right? Not, not this ball game. Here. Take it. Okay, well, okay, sure. Ball games can be fun as well. Blue, you're not supposed to stop the ball. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my super shot. Not again. I thought this, this girl up there was blue because there was a blue dress. <laughs> Cut it out and play by the rules. Show me what you got. Okay, so we get to choose. Well, show me what you got then. Hey, hey. Here comes Blue's super shot. Bam. That's how you lost it in the first place. <laughs> Straight into the garden. Nice shot, Blue. Here we go again. Oh, hello. Lucy, I've been waiting for you. I told you not to be late, remember? Come on. We have to make dinner. Oh, I suppose we... Help them make dinner then. Say goodbye to your friends there. Hi, Mom. Yes, I'm coming. Bye, friends. I have to go, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, Lucy. See you. Ah, uh, who's gonna get the ball back now? Hey, don't look at me. Blue is the one who did it. 
Also, what is that chimney thing to the left in the garden where it disappeared? I also love that there's a sign of bread. <laughs> Without saying bread. And also sign the other signs also have a forest and stuff. Okay, take care, children. It's almost evening. You should be heading home soon. Yeah, from that little bit of narrated nightmare intro we had, it seemed like it's based on reality, like most nightmares and dreams do pick up elements of of reality. So we are probably living under very strict rules because the woods are said to be, I don't know, dangerous. Monsters lurking, they said. Blue, the ball. <laughs> why is it always me? Why is it always blue? Oh, never mind. I, I, for some reason, I thought our name was blue. Our name is Lucy. Yeah, I, I suck with names. But yeah, blue. Blue, you did it. Oh, it's a cute little. I don't know what it is. Is that a fox? Sleeping on the treasure chest. Oh, the little air flick. Is it a fox? Is it some sort of sunglasses-less raccoon? <laughs> Maybe it's like a doggo. So here we are. Lucy, about time you showed up. You were supposed to come home a while ago, weren't you? Well, we daydreamed a little bit. Why don't you help mom, honey? Let's cook some tasty dinner and then get to bed early. Before it gets dark. Well, I already slept a bit, so I'm gonna be awake when night comes. Don't make us come looking for you next time, okay? Go help your mom now. While you read, can't you help mom? Come on, sweetheart. Let's make some dinner. Can you grab this saucepan? It's hanging next to the fireplace. Saucepan, that'll be one of these, right? Saucepan. Okay. Saucepan. Let's have a look at this. This looks good. Like a little wok. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's have a look around first. The fireplace is almost at. The fire iron. A tool used for everything but the fire. In books anyway. We just don't use it at all. The water basin is pretty full. It'll be enough for today. Seems like we're saving each time we pick on something. A little stool. A stool has many uses around the home. And if you flip it upside down, it's a crown. <laughs> yeah, try balancing that on your head. Oh, hello, we need to apparently talk with our pet. It's so tidy and cute. Squinty, are you still sleeping? Squinty, because of the eyes? You have white eyes. Are you a cat? What race of a cat are you? They're adorable. Oh, well, half sleeping. You never know with cats if they're sleeping or not. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Um, what, Lucy? I need to focus on my studies, Lucy. Go help your mother. Studies. Uh, this is the candle we use to go down in the cellar. Oh, you have a cellar. It's such a secluded place here. With old-fashioned technology. What is this jar here? The salt is safe up there from clumsy cats. I guess it's not the first time salt was spilled around here. And I guess this is the bed for the cat. This is Squinty's bed. He sleeps anywhere but here. <laughs> Yeah, that's just called being a cat, I think. Okay, before we go anywhere else, we, let's let's help out mom. We're all starving. <laughs> Can you grab a saucepan? Oh yeah, I already have it. Let's see, I have to do this. Saucepan, and here you go. Thank you, sweetheart. Now, let's see, what else do we need? The fireplace needs wood. Pick some up from the chest and rekindle it. I will start working on the stew. Watch you don't burn your fingers. Wait, what was that? From the chest. But... Oh. I'm sorry, cat. You'll, you'll understand. 
Oof, you're heavy. <laughs> I can't lift the cat. I mean, of course the cat is heavy if you don't try to lift the cat, but you try to lift the thing underneath. Try to lift the cat instead. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can lure the cat away with something. Mom likes to play the liar after dinner. She's really good at it. It's a locked music box. Mom says it's broken, but it's her keepsake. Yeah, it's broken because it's locked. <laughs> this cupboard does what most furniture does. It contains stuff. Most furniture doesn't contain stuff, does it? You sit on it, you have stuff on it. Um, let's go up. Cat. Is that our room with a picture of a cat? Hey, my diary is on the floor. What's it doing there? Resting, apparently. Better keep it with me. You got my own diary. Now you can use the diary. Here, Lucy will write down everything she discovers as she explores the town. My collection. It must be a brand new diary. <laughs> oh, many pockets. Ah, stars and moon. mouse. A, a toy mouse. This is Squinty's toy. How did it end up here? You got a toy mouse. Well, we can use it to lure Squinty away. Let's see if Squinty will regain the Sumis. A cat. A, a cat. A ball. <laughs> ball is named Cat, apparently. It's been a while since I last used my ball. Blue is... Uh, blue always brings us... <laughs> that reminds me, when I was a child, I had like a ball I liked. And... I didn't want to bring it. I, I, we always used someone else's ball because I was afraid they would kick it away or they would get lost. <laughs> and um, yeah, as would often happen. So I understand blue in a way. Is it still inflated? Does it still look round? <laughs> well, yeah, it's not that. But it has to be. It can't be too soft either. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. There, there we go. All right, you got your hands there. Let me introduce you to Fluffy. The deflated ball. Who will stay here until I'm forced to tidy up my room? Well, Fluffy can tidy up, can't he? What a shock. It's full of socks. What a shock indeed. Oh, I wanted to have a look at what's on the table. Not much interesting, just stationary. This is Squinty, my cat. He's such a troublemaker. <laughs> How I wish I couldn't hear the roars of the forest. Oh. Guess that is us. Or gar roar. And there's the eyes, as depicted in our nightmares. Quite airy. From here, you can see the forest surrounding the town. I suppose you'd rather not have this. Not have a view out right before you go to sleep. It's an extra blanket for when I feel cold. Ah, uh -huh. this is not even a cover; it's just a tiny little blanket. My socks sticking out. It's like the shark is making a face <laughs> with a tongue. You look cool. You have my permission to stay like this forever. <laughs> Well, let's go see the other room before we get some food. It's me. <laughs> Way. I'm a girl. I'm 12. And I have a big brain. Because I'm very smart, of course. You got a sticker. A sticker that vanished into our diary. This mirror really makes my head look huge. Has to fit that big brain of yours. Oh, there it is. This mirror belonged to my grandparents. 
It's so old and deformed that it makes me look like I have a huge head. I must be super smart. <laughs> no one else is allowed to look at it. Only I am allowed to be smart. Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad's room. It's locked. Maybe our parents that look and they look fat because they are taller than me. It elongates the same spots. The same height. <laughs> hey, cat. Would you fancy your toy mask? Hey, squinty. Lucky hair. Oh, now I got their attention. Yeah, careful. Mom likes that. Phew. Luckily, Mom's lyre didn't fall to the ground. It makes a really nice sound. <laughs> I thought it was a jump scare sound. <laughs> a jump scare of you'll never see a cat again once the cat ran into the basement. Oh, you got a note. Okay. Lucy notes down every unusual sound she hears in her diary, creating melodies. Okay. That's a lovely voice. Once the melody is complete, you can use it in your adventure. <laughs> okay. And now, back to the fire. Well, we'll have our chance to go to the basement. You got firewood? Firewood into the fire. There we go. We can hear the fire rekindle and burn brightly and loudly at you. All right, Mom. I hear some crackling. I guess the wood was enough. Now I need some sausages from the cellar. Could you fetch them for me, Lucy? Oh, uh, sure. Be careful with the stairs and take the candle. You need some light. The cat didn't, but they are nocturnal a bit. They can see a bit in the dark. You got a candle. Here it is. It's not lit though. Yeah, well, we can borrow the fireplace for that. I can be creative. You lit the candle. What else is in there? I wonder if the wood likes being thrown into the fire. If the look, if the wood was sentient, then probably not. Nothing likes to burn up. We all like heat. We like warmth, but we don't like to burn. It could be a bit too much of everything. So to peek in. The back symbol is a stamp. <laughs> okay, so take out our light first. No. <laughs> it doesn't know. Okay, yeah. Shrug. Just go in there. And now, let's light the candle. Uh... It's too dark. And how do we... Do we just pick it, take it on you? We have a lit candle. Oh, we just put it up here. That is one hell of a candle. I thought I would take it with me. That's better. Hey, Squinty. That's not cat food. I always know why we put the salt jar so high up. <laughs> well, there's no barrel upstairs either. Squinty. Squinty, don't you even think about it. No. No, Squinty. No, it doesn't matter if you purr and are all sweet and all. You can't have it. But okay. Sausages it is. Sausages. Is, is it that hanging here? Is that sausages? That looks vegetary. Okay, sausages. It looked like corn. <laughs> it looked like... It sounded like liquid when it was put in our little bag. Squinty. Don't you dare. <laughs> um, now that I think about it, Squinty, leave that fish be. Shoo. Oh, we have quite the authority over this cat. What a little pest. Huh. Well, you know. We are the pets of cats. The cats are the owner of the house. 
in reality. Are you talking about Luca? It's been two days already. His father didn't want people to know, but it's crystal clear. Oh no. This hasn't happened in so long. Will we ever be free? What? Did Luca disappear into the woods or so? Don't be a fool. It will never end. Do not forget this. This is why we have rules. There, nobody can forget that, ever. Not even for one night. How can you say such things? It's been a long time since silence fell on this town. Yeah, I know, I know. But it happened. And it will happen again. We were caught off guard. Hmm. What will his father do now? Lucy? Yeah, I'm here, I'm listening. I'll go see him tomorrow. Let's try not to think about it now. Did we know, Luca? They were talking about another missing person. So we didn't know him. Okay. Father? Okay, yeah. You felt a little bit ashamed that I hear that. <laughs> Went back to your little world of books. Mother? Mom? Yes, Lucy? Well, no, nothing. Now we're probably wondering about what exactly happened. We are a child. We are sub susceptible to being kidnapped or just vanishing or whatever's going on here. I heard a noise earlier. Was Squinty in the cellar again? <laughs> Squinty is in the cellar again. No, it's not. It's on. It's on uh, he escaped. We shoot him away. Back to sleep. Cats sleep. 23 or 24 hours a day. Seemingly. Not really, but it feels like it sometimes. He was up to no good, wasn't he? Well, anyway, do you have a sausages? Well, it's, it's my fault setting the toy mouse down there in the first place. <laughs> I have a sausages, yes. Let me see. The liquidy sausages. Sound like liquid when I put them in there. Can you smell that? This is going to be delicious. Uh, I I like a little bit of mixed meat and mostly vegetables myself. I don't like, like, pure meat. Let's see, what else? Yes, yes, some salt. It's on the shelf, Lucy. Can you please grab it? Then you can go play. But I was out. I thought, oh, oh, inside you mean, because they said that nightfall would come. Sounds a bit dangerous to just go out and play. Not, not. Thank you, sweetheart. I zoned off, I zoned off. The salt, yeah, yeah, the salt. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I use this maybe too? I need your help, stool. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's enough. I, I forgot to say it, but I said like one of the many uses was to stand on them as well, but then you talked about it being a crown that put me off guard. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's but, uh, squinty, what the? It really is a pest, isn't it? Wow. Well, the salt came down. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Phew, you're okay. I was scared. It's just a tiny stool. It's okay. Why is our hands so dirty, though? Oh, it's poured all out. Forgive me. It was too high for you. Don't worry about dinner. I can handle it from here. Oh, but now we have all of the extra work with the salt and everything. As for you, little pest. Get out. <laughs> Just a little stomping. Oh, okay, that's what the hole is for. It's a big hole. Go out and play. I'm on it. Sure. Where are you going, Lucy? Yeah, now you pay attention. The sun is setting. You should stay home. But uh, it's still light outside. I'd like to stay out a bit more. I swear I won't go far. Tell you what. When dinner's ready, I'll call you and you come back home immediately. Sound good? Uh, Dad doesn't like it now, especially not after the news of another child gone missing. And I don't blame him. All right, just don't go too far. The town is not safe after dusk. 
I know that. It rules and all. Thank you. Eloise. It's just for a few minutes, and it's just in front of the house. You know why I'm worried. I want Lucy to be safe, and you're too lenient. But it's, it's good of you to not make a scene or anything while Lucy was still present. But it's good to voice your concerns. But you're in this together. 